Hiya! So, it was brought to my attention on YouTube that, look how I'm whispering my hair looks. Um, it was brought to my attention that the last duffel coat video didn't upload properly, which I thought it had. And I went through and checked. I found that I had deleted it on the idea that I had uploaded it. So, I apologise for that. So, what I've done is I've remade the duffel coat in a different colour. I'm going to give it to Otterline, I think. Otterline and Eric can go out on a date with their duffel coats. <laughs> so I'm up to the point. I also, when I watched the last video to see what I got up to and why I'd shown you, I realised that when I was showing the facing being folded back and sewn in place, the hood was quite sticky-uppy and in the way. So I thought I'd start from that point so you could see it a bit better. I hope that makes sense. So we're at the point of the hood's been put on. Oh, everything else has been done. We've just tacked the hood in place using a basting stitch, which is the longest stitch on your machine. That's the point we're at. The facings are still free, and we're going to put the facings on the fold over the hood bit to make it all nice and neat and tidy and put it all into place. So I will show you that now, and then we'll go on to the next bit. So sorry for that mix up. So here we go. I'll keep you a bit taller so you can look right over. Right. So. If you get your hood wrong side facing down, your coat, fold your hood back. And then on this front facing, you'll see that you've got two marks. You want to fold back on this one, closest to the hood. And you keep your hood at the down position and you fold that facing over. And it fits that curve beautifully. What happens then is when you fold it out, that hood raw red is in is encased into that so i'm just going to pin that in place so this seam when you're sewing it is really quite bulky so nice and slow and steady so you do the same on the other side without sticking your finger with a pin the marker is there That doesn't look as far in. Nope, it's that one there. I thought there was two. Okay, we must stop singing at you people. Okay, so I'm going to pin this one in place. And this just keeps all those raw edges that might be visible if the coat was open nice and neatly encased into the seam. So now we're going to sew right the way across using our normal stitch length and I believe it's still not, yes, it's still caught in the seam allowance. So I'm going to bring you to my machine. I'm going to try now to make sure that the hood does not get in the way. So like I said just a minute ago, this is going to be quite a bulky feeling seam. So just take it easy. So I'm just going to back to it a little bit. And I'm just going to remember where you put your pins. It's not too bad actually on this bit. It's feeling okay. It wasn't too bad on the Eric one, but. Um... So when you're coming to the other end, this bit is going to push up against the foot. So make sure that's lying nice and flat so your foot doesn't push it up and away and then you end up with um, creases and creases. So after we've done this bit, you just want to... Um, Because you're going to turn this bit out, why is that bit sticking out? I don't like that. Let's trim that bit off. That's from the base of it, so you can pull that out at the end of it. Because you're going to turn that seam out, you could just trim the edge off that so it's not quite so bulky. Like that. And the same on the other end, like that. Okay, now before you turn this out, so you start creating your bottom hem so you you basically it's before you um
before you sew your arm and side seams down, which is that bit there, we're just going to make sure the facing is right here. So, it folds back, makes it nice and neat and tidy like that. My basting stitch is showing something chronic in there, I don't like it. Let's just unpick. Do you know what? I didn't. It didn't actually catch properly there. Well, I didn't catch properly. I absolutely can't leave it like that. So on this end, my hood didn't entirely get caught up in that little seam. I obviously hadn't made sure it was poked through enough. So I'm just going to pop that open again and make sure I've got it right because that would just look messy else. So I'll just pop that open again. And I just want to make sure my hood is definitely in the right place. I'm just going to re that. That's just messy and horrible, I don't like that. That's better. That just looked awful. Okay, so. So make it all nice and level. This is the front facing. So what you need to do is one centimetre up. Mark it for that. And on the other side, of course. I mean, ideally you could press this with a iron. Anybody who knows me knows I hate ironing. <laughs> I will do it then, absolutely, you know, when it's absolutely necessary. So again, we're going to mark one centimetre up. And you're literally just sewing. Hold on. I've marked one centimetre, one centimetre up. And you're just going to sew along this bit. This bit here and the rest of the coat at the back, you'll do in a second. on the next bit. So. This is kind of like the start of your hem of the coat, really. But I've done it all the way round. Oh my word, Mandy. I should have folded it the other way. Okay, maybe I'm not the best person to be showing anyone how to sew today. Because I'd be getting it. Well, did I fold the other one the right way around? No, I didn't. Oh. Okay, I'm not even going to look at that now. That's just bleeding ridiculous. Mandy Hawk. I've been ill recently. <laughs> well, I should be using that as an excuse, but I have been. I just haven't been right. Oh, I tell you, I've had um, a condition called. You st well, it's all the saying I've got. Eustachian tube dysfunction, which is inner ear blockage. 
and it's making me dizzy and it's making me sick and it's quite bleeding horrible anyway I've got a nasal spray thing for it which doesn't appear to be doing too much so far it's been about they said it's been about a week no two weeks now, I'd say um I just don't seem to be getting any better with it but um they said that it could take up to four to six weeks so I've remarked that side and now I'm going to mark this side more things and thumbs yeah so that's what's wrong with me um so yeah you're doing it inside out still so when you fold it out it's all tucked on the inside and all nice and neat tidy Anyway, down it goes, and then back and forwards. You can just see where I'm not going off that edge because it's Here we are. Oh, that's the other side, right? This one. What you can do now is trim these bottom corners. Let's give you a bit more view. Okay, trim these bottom corners off. So when you turn that point, it's nice and neat and tidy. As you will see. So it kind of comes. Obviously, this will all be sewn in. I say obviously, this will all be sewn in in a minute when you do the full bottom hem. Then poke this side around. Lovely. Nice and neat and tidy. So. Now you can see that all that facing is encapsulated the whole of that. So the next bit then after that is your side seams. Obviously you can um, iron this. I never iron anything. I'll just top stitch in a minute. So side seams. So right sides together as always. Match up your match up your sleeve. Match up your armpit. Match up the rest of your coat. Side seams. And do it on the other side. You can do it separately if you prefer. I do it all in one go. I'll do one than the other. So, sleeve. Armpit. Sides of coats. Oh, okay, and then we see how it's all pinned, ready to go. I'm just pulled a wire out. So I'll hang crank that into place because it feels quite thick. So I'm going to make the sleeve down to the armpit. Watching for that pin there. And then go to the armpit line. Keep your knees on the down position 
turn the whole coat and then go down the side bit. So I'll just give you a pivot and give you that nice clean on the other. Can you repeat that for the other one? your side seams done so now you've got a constructed coat pretty much it is the very very recognizable so now it's just the bottom hem and your um top section way around so this just basically this bottom hem all folds up one centimetre. There's my little measurer. Where did I just put that? God, you know, I'm useless today at finding anything. If only if I just had it. I've just had it here, literally two seconds ago. There's my pen. Can't find it. What have I done with it? There it is, look, hiding underneath other stuff. How did it get hidden so quickly? I will never know, but it did. I'm just going to mark one centimetre along the edge so I can get it all in a nice line. Okay. it all nice and flat so I'm just going to pin that in place just because obviously it keeps it all nice and tidy and then I'm just gonna so you sew this in place and then you top stitch all the way around the whole coat as you go and this is the last bit before you put your buttons and stuff on Okay, so what I do is I start at the bottom of the back because you don't see it as much. Not that I try and make it too messy anyway, but you know. So you're going to stitch close to your um, raw edge on this bit, and then when you come around to the top stitching at the facing, you're going to go as close to the folded edge as you can. And this bit you just go all the way along and then get to that bit that you did on the corner where you sewed that one centimetre seam in and you go right to the end of this folded edge as much as you can nice and consistent <laughs> the top. there's that point there for the facing so <clears throat> you've got this really bulky seam underneath your hood should be up not folded back this is going to be the thick of it so slow and slow, don't ram it through, don't pull it. I'm just top stitching all the way up. That's nice and neat. And coming back towards the facing again. Go 
straight back to that point there my needle so it went off the edge a little bit too far down. It's meant to be here at that one centimetre edge and I've got to fold it over. Ooh. I feel like I keep making mistakes today and that's because I do. Okay. <laughs> left now is putting the buttons on but here essentially is your duffel coat she says at long last <laughs> so I will show you in the next video how to put the buttons on because um, I need to mark it all out and stuff. You don't want to see you doing that on camera. It's really boring. <laughs> anyway, I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye bye.